Good evening. A major expansion is planned for the Lloydminster Airport as City Council agreed today to a $1.3 million land purchasing agreement. City Council says the airport additions are vital to both businesses on the property as well as the city as a whole. The airport will uh, give us viability into the future and connect us to, to the greater world. Uh, it's a very important piece to, uh, to the puzzle. Over three years in the making, Deputy Mayor Rob Saunders says expansion talks started with previous councils. I think it's a long-term vision uh, that councils had for some time and uh, wanted to make sure that we do uh, capture the lands that give us the ability to expand the growth of the airport. The agreement will add more than 83 acres to the property. The new Lloydminster RCMP detachment has been a topic of discussion since a work stoppage earlier this year. Construction came to a standstill in February and Dowland Construction, the contractor in charge, defaulted on the project in March. Now crews are back on the scene and City Council approved a new completion agreement with another company. Bart Pagnasic reports. This abandoned work site was how the RCMP detachment stood only a couple months ago. When Dowland couldn't complete their work, the city officials had to form a plan and pick up the pieces. Fortunate they weren't able to do so, and of course uh, then you have to take on the uh, challenge of uh, moving forward. Deputy Mayor Rob Saunders says he's disappointed with how the situation progressed, pushing back the completion date by a year. Now the scene is much different as crews return to the site a few weeks ago. The city made an agreement with Spruce Grove company Marshall Lee Construction to take over the work and officials say thanks to the performance bonds they signed before they broke ground, it'll be at no extra cost. So essentially at the end of the day, the city only pays the original contract amount. This is not a cost to the city or the taxpayers whatsoever the insurance company kicks in and, and finishes off paying for the, the completion of the project. Now Brent Stasiak says they're focusing on finishing as much of the outside before the season ends. They're prepping to pave and we hope uh, perhaps as early as next week we might see some paving starting on the east side of the property. So ultimately our goal is to get all the exterior stuff done prior to freeze up then they can turn their attention to the interior of the building. It was really good and I think uh, everybody in the city would be very pleased to see the uh, progress uh, carrying on on the RCMP building and to completion. Currently the construction is 70 percent done and the facility is expected to be complete next summer. Bart Pidiasek, New Cap News. While this colder than normal summer may have limited some of your favorite summer activities, it's also kept those pesky ankle biters at bay. The cooler weather has helped reduce mosquito activity and slowed the West Nile virus cycling between birds and mosquitoes. But with the return to warmer temperatures that we're seeing this week, the risk could increase again. With this hot weather, we'll still see at least another two weeks, two to three weeks of, of West Nile risks. There have been no confirmed cases of West Nile in the Lloydminster region. Provincially, 18 mosquitoes, six birds and one horse have tested positive for the virus. Low years. Uh, and then last year we started to see a rise and we already have more positive um, mosquito samples uh, or pools this year than we did last year. Experts are advising people to get out and enjoy the nice weather, but to make sure they are using protective measures like repellents or covering up exposed skin. The harvest is starting, you know, and uh, farmers or, or other people that are involved in the outdoors uh, or working out, outside, uh, they should be aware that these mosquitoes are out there as well. The risk period usually goes until late August or early September before the mosquitoes go into hibernation.